Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Ben Miss Day 3. I made my coffee in a mason jar today because all of my other mugs are dirty. Also, when Hazel was here, she chewed up some of my books. Look at this. She chewed up the edges. It's still readable. It's just, oh, she's so crazy. By the way, this is a great book, Praying for My Husband. Basically, like every day, it has a little prayer that you say for your husband. It's actually really cool. Oh wait, this is for the wife. So it's Power of a Praying Husband. And then I also have the wife version. So this is for husbands to say a prayer for their wives every day. And then I have the one, obviously, for your husband. And for example, some of them are like, Dear Lord, today I pray for my husband's work life. I pray that he does well at work and that you give him wisdom and knowledge to succeed in his career. And then the next day it'll be like, Lord, I pray for my husband's prayer life. I pray that you would be with him and remind him to pray. And so it's really cool. I'll link these down below. It's great if you're doing even premarital counseling, like you can start this as you guys are engaged and like to be married. Good morning, it's Sunday, it's 9.30. I just edited a video and I believe we're gonna go to church at the 11 o'clock service. And then we have the gender reveal today, super exciting. I'm making some eggs with these eggs from my brother's chickens. They're so good, all organic. You can still see the hay on them. I need to wash them, but how cool is that? This size difference, this one is so small compared to this one. Look at this. Been having a lot of fruit flies so I've been trying to clean up right after I eat normally I'll just wait for AJ to do the dishes but with the fruit flies I just like do the dishes myself because I don't want to leave any food out even if it's just for like an hour I'd rather just clean it up take out the trash like immediately because in my experience that's the best way to get rid of fruit flies guys you're gonna see the worst of me like this just get used to it okay So Chelsea requested everybody to wear either pink or blue later. So how funny would it be if I wore <laughs> neutral and I was like gender neutral? <laughs> and I also bought like the pins that say like team boy or team girl. So how funny would it be if I had a pin that said gender neutral and I'm wearing like all neutrals? That would be hilarious because I know the gender. I've known for like three weeks. It's so hard to keep it a secret, but I did successfully. So finally today, everybody else will know. You never stop, you never stop working. Okay guys, we're back from church. I did my little gender neutral thing. I just covered one of the pins and I wrote on it. So cute. And I'm just wearing the outfit that I showed you earlier and I'm just gonna put this Princess Polly thing around my waist and let's go to the party. Let's see what everybody thinks it is. I'm so excited for them to find out. We have all of the supplies right here. Doing good, babe? What's up? My sprinklers are on. I'm just trying to avoid getting wet. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what if you actually got in the car like that every day and it's like your biggest secret? That's like your ick. You have to be there at 1.30, right? Yeah. Don't look at me. AJ, are you Swiss? Don't look at me and say say words or video. AJ, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get closer. You're just twisting. Chelsea, get closer. Chelsea. Keep your left hand firm and twist with the right. All right, one, two. Are you excited to go to New York? 
Anna said she's gonna meet us in New York. Are you excited that I'm here right now? Yeah. Did you miss me during Thanksgiving break? Yeah. A lot? Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, give it one day. If I run a marathon, will you be there? Depends where it is. Nashville? Yes. You heard it here first. <laughs> Are you watching the World Cup? You. Rachel does not care about the United States of America. That's, that's or her European is. roots, apparently, either. So. Babe, is he blockchain? Then turn off your alarm. Well, no, I'll, I'm gonna try again tonight. Oh my god. Maybe I'll fall asleep. You have to wake up early in order to fall asleep early. <laughs> he set his alarm for 6 a.m. to go to the gym and it didn't happen. So his alarm was going off every seven minutes. <laughs> I don't understand why you don't just turn it off. So I have to go over there and turn it off. Just hit snooze instead of turning it off. Anyways, happy Monday, you guys. I'm going into work today because my mom said we have a lot of patients today versus tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna not work Tuesday instead of Monday. So I'll just flip my days. And yeah, I stopped vlogging yesterday because I just get into mood swings. Like, and then I just stop vlogging for the whole day. So that's why Vlogmas is really hard for me because I kind of like have to base my filming off of my mood, which is really bad, but it's just reality. Like sometimes I just don't wanna vlog my evening Evening. So yeah, last night I just kind of came home, took a shower, and then like watched The Crown and Kim Kardashian. Good morning! Let's go to work. And it feels like so long since I've been to work because last week I was off the whole week, which was really nice. But I have to pay the property taxes today because the due date is like tomorrow, so I can't forget. I can't forget. Okay, so these are the little flies that we have. You see how they have like bigger wings than the regular f fruit flies? I'm going to clean this again, bleach the sink and clean everything because it's getting out of hand. I just sprayed this corner and there's so many flies that came out and died but that's so weird because I literally did the same thing yesterday so I don't know like what they're doing but again we have this huge gap here but I don't think they would be coming from there because AJ said that they're drain flies so I don't know okay we've reached extreme measures I'm gonna do a thing of baking soda and just like pour it around let it sit run the disposal and then I'm gonna pour bleach down the drain and run it a bunch of times because this is ruining my life and it's disgusting I think it's from but it was here before Thanksgiving so maybe like the Thanksgiving prep that I was doing I don't know okay I'm gonna use these as gloves and I'm actually gonna scrub the whole thing with baking soda and then do the bleach trick i poured the bleach down i'm gonna let it sit without rinsing it and hopefully that'll kill them if they're living in there and then other than that just keeping the whole house extremely clean i mean like just the kitchen taking out the trash wiping down the counters doing the dishes right away and let's see if this works and then of course we do one of these just in case there's like food on the floor i already vacuumed by the way what up what up what up i want to show you my new jewelry i'm so excited so i got this r necklace from anna luisa and they are working with me in today's video i do have a 20 percent off code for you guys if you use code rachel bin at analuisa.com i'm obsessed with anna luisa jewelry i showed you guys this one last time this is the sun necklace and i just added an r i've always wanted to be that girl who wears her own initial 
I just think it's like so confident and cool. So I'm obsessed. And then I also showed you guys this ring. This is a gold ring and it has like little diamonds right there. And then I just also received this beautiful gold bracelet. I've been wanting a gold bracelet to go with my gold jewelry. And Alisa makes the best jewelry, you guys. They have such beautiful and stunning pieces for such great prices. Everything is super affordable. They have things starting at $39, ranging to higher-end pieces. These earrings that I'm wearing are also Ana Luisa. This silver little huggy hoop and then this diamond and gold stud. And I was thinking about getting my cartilage pierced, so let's see if I end up doing that. But if I do, I'm definitely going to add a Ana Louisa piece here but honestly you guys what really sealed the deal for me are these necklaces I just think they're so cute so stunning and that's what I love about Ana Luisa is they have such beautiful pieces and they're not like too overbearing or like trendy or chuggy they make really minimal and classic pieces so I feel good investing in these pieces that I know I'm gonna have for many many years they also offer speedy delivery all over the world and they make a great gift for the holidays. I think these letter necklaces make such a cute gift. So I wear these two earrings basically like nonstop. I never really take them off because they're just so small and cute and minimal and they go with everything and that's just personally my style. So that's also why I love Ana Luisa. You guys can follow them on Instagram and subscribe to their newsletter to stay in the know about new releases and exclusive sales. Ana Luisa is also a sustainable jewelry company so you can feel good that you're supporting a company that does the right thing. Makes a great gift and like I said, super affordable. So make sure to click the link in my description. You can get 20% off using code RACHELVIN. If you're anything like me, you don't like breaking the bank when it comes to jewelry. It just, it doesn't need to be so expensive. And that's what Ana Luisa really understands. And I just like vibe with them so well. So that being said, check them out. Link in the description. I'm obsessed. And you guys will be too. It's 8.19. I have to go to work. I just ate a banana and I'm going to go all the way outside and throw it in the big trash can outside. So don't ever say... I'm not dedicated. Well, what do you know? I ended up at Pollo Tropical. It's lunchtime. I paid some of the property taxes today and I, <clears throat> geez, I mailed out a bunch of checks for bills that were due because I didn't work at all last week. So things were piling up. So those went out in the mail and then just like a bunch of other admin stuff. I still have to pay the remainder of the taxes this afternoon. But let's eat some lunch, finish the day strong. I have not been hungry at all. Like for some reason in my follicular, follic <laughs> my follicular phase, I just like have no appetite like at all. So I'm trying to force myself to eat because it's not good. Hi, can I have two small choppy chops? Are they gonna be the same? Yes. With? White rice, black beans, chicken and corn. And a sauce is in a drink. Cilantro sauce. Anything else? That's it. Do have a please. Thank you. Somebody brought cupcakes. How cute they are. a package all right so i ordered a thing for the back of my phone to put my cards in but i'm thinking to upgrade my phone because i have when i take okay i have the iphone 11 and when i take pictures Sorry, it's okay i'm not mad at all i love you when I take pictures, I have like an orb on the lower left side and it's just like something's wrong with my camera. Yes, I could take it in to fix it, but I think it's time for an upgrade anyway. I only have one, right? So I'm like, maybe I should just wait to put it on until I have my new phone. That would be the smart thing to do. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Let's be responsible. You, you missed it, it's fine. Let's see how many cards it holds. It holds three, which is what I needed. Okay, it holds three cards tightly, so definitely not more than three. And it's leather. I wanted leather. Wait, you get the same thing I did? No, it's for my phone. Why wouldn't you just get Apple brand? Apple brand has this? Are you kidding me? I have it on my phone right now. No way. Yes. No, you have something else. Shut up. Switch with me. You're gonna like that one better. Is this a magnet? Yes, look, it's built for- Well, I have a phone case, smarty. It's you built don't. That one's built for your phone case? Well, it's sticker. Yeah, take that poop out. Ugh. Okay, 
Time to check for fruit flies. Like I said this morning, they're in this corner. Let's see. Nothing. I saw one over there, but I think those are just the residual ones that like are alive already around the house. All oh right. my God. I forgot we had these. <laughs> we... <laughs> We're going to the gym. This is going to be our first time going to LA Fitness at 5.45 p.m. It's going to be chaos day. on a weekday. I'm wearing my Old Navy t-shirt, my Gymshark bike shorts. Let's get her done. Um... Okay. So you... How long are you planning to stay in, stay in here? She loves the fridge. Mmm. You eat this in the wild. Get down. Good girl. Good morning. Today I have a busy schedule. I need to go to my mom's office, finish something really quick, and then I have a potluck at my dad's work actually, because um, I used to work there. That's from 12 to two, so I'm gonna go say hi to everybody and enjoy, and then gym, and then I need to figure out what we're eating for dinner. I haven't gone to Publix at, or the grocery store like at all this week, which is good because we're saving money, but it's bad because we're like eating out and or just like not eating. So <laughs> need to figure that out. But I wanted to talk about mood swings for a little bit because I know I'm not the only one who struggles with it. At least I hope not. And like some coping mechanisms that I'm still working on. Obviously I'm not perfect, but I'm trying to get better at controlling my moods. So typically what will happen is I'll start the day off in a great mood. Like mornings are my jam. I'm a morning person. I've I've been waking up at 6 a.m. recently doing my devotion drinking my coffee it's just so amazing and then as let's say 3 4 p.m. hit normally something during the day has triggered me to the point where I let that kind of spiral and deteriorate my mood for the rest of the evening this doesn't happen every day but I would say probably two to three times a week so maybe like half the time and it's very annoying it's disturbing to my life and I'm trying to actively fight it so some things that have helped me number one is just recognizing my triggers and being aware of what those triggers are for example example, when I was doing, when AJ and I were going to buy the gender reveal cannons, I had ordered them from Walmart and they said that they were out of stock. So they canceled my order. I was freaking out because I didn't want to like ruin the gender reveal, right? So we went to a couple different Walmarts and then we finally found it in person. I was relieved and it was great. My problem was solved, but my mood was still crappy because I let that trigger carry me throughout the rest of the day into a negative mood, even though there was no no reason for me to be upset. Maybe in the moment I wasn't aware of my trigger of being stressed out, but then once the stress resolves itself, like why am I, why am I still in a bad mood? I don't know. So being aware of my triggers and hopefully recognizing myself when I do get triggered. Um, and I'm using the word trigger lightly, like if somebody cuts me off or if I wanted to eat eggs, but I realized we have no eggs anymore. So like little things like that, I realize can get to me if I'm not mindful and aware of what's going on in my heart and my mind that day number two is just talking it out so talking to AJ he'll be like what's wrong what's wrong I'm like honestly like I don't even know what's wrong it's just like I can't even verbalize it but having somebody to talk to about it and be like you know what actually nothing is wrong so you're right like why am I being like this um and oftentimes that helps me like snap out of it and just realizing that like my behavior is affecting other people or my mood is affecting other people I'm a big believer in like energy so like if someone's in a bad mood I like feed off of that and if someone's in a good mood I feed off of that so I would never want to be the person who's in a bad mood and have other people like feel that and like radiate that to others so being aware talking to others realizing that my energy affects other people and it's not all about me like so what if i had a bad morning that doesn't mean i can be in a bad mood the rest of the day and then of course just keeping busy and forcing myself to do things that i know will make me feel better so even if i don't want to go to the gym or i don't want to cook dinner more often than not i will still do that activity even though i really don't want to because at the end of it i'll be like you know what i was in a bad mood today but at least i 
I got these things done. Either way, you're gonna be in a bad mood, but why not be in a bad mood and still get things done? It happens all the time with work stuff too. Like you can be in a bad mood all day at work, but would you rather be in a bad mood and have nothing to show for it or be in a bad mood and still meet your deadline or still send that email or still work on that project? Like regardless of your mood, you will have results at the end of the day and those results will either be positive or like not there at all. So I would say that's probably the biggest thing that's helped me is realizing that my mood does not dictate my productivity, it doesn't dictate my health, my wellness, it's just a bad mood and it's not that serious and it'll pass and tomorrow morning I'm gonna feel great because I'm a morning person. Okay, lastly, not making any rash decisions while you're in that funk or in that mood. For me, that tends to be at nighttime. I try not to make any important decisions at nighttime because like I said, my mood starts off really high and then by the end of the night, I'm normally not as cheery as I was in the morning. So just postpone your decisions. For me, that's like midday. I don't wanna make decisions in the morning when I'm super pumped on fire for life because I don't wanna overcommit to things, right? So maybe for me, midday, mid-afternoon, late morning is like my time to think things through, make decisions, make plans, commit to things, and just kind of avoid the two extremes. I don't know if anybody else struggles with this. Let me know in the comments down below if you struggle with daily mood swings. I'm not talking about like week-long manic or depressive episodes. I'm talking about like throughout a one-day cycle having mood swings. Let me know. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. All right. Let's go start the day. Okay guys, we out here, day 43. <laughs> Killing it. Yeah, I'm a 10, I'm a 10 every time we're back here. Two 45s. Let's go ladies. <laughs> also, oh gosh, I, I want her to add this in the vlog. I bet she won't, but Rachel, seriously the best friend in the whole world. You guys are blessed to even be able to watch her online because that's just a glimpse of how awesome she is in real life. Okay, bye. Okay, so first of all, Hallie has a Beamer. It's Beamer and W. And second of all, some person I'm left scared. this bag. I'm scared, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared, guys. Open it. No. Okay. This is so scary. It literally, it was here when I got here and they put it even closer to the car. Serious. Oh, it's just towels. <laughs> All right guys, home from the gym, and luckily I was able to bring food from today's potluck home for dinner, so that solved that problem. Just a quick reminder, you guys, don't forget to check out Ana Luisa. The link is in my description. You guys are gonna love their jewelry, especially for the holidays or any anniversaries, anything you have going on. Check out the link, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.